Hey guys, welcome to my brand new VAT sim tutorial series. I've had a lot of requests for this, about like maybe five, ten people like, hey, how do you do this, how do you do that, make a tutorial, and I'm like, alright, I will. So this is probably going to be about a five part, maybe six part series here where I explain what you actually need to do VAT sim, how you do it, how you install it, how you set everything up. But today is going to be in an installation tutorial, how to download everything and how to set everything up. So. First things first, you're going to want to go to VATSIM. The website is VATSIM.net. You're going to click on join and you're going to create an account. So note, you do have to be 13 years or older to do VATSIM. It's just really not a good idea to do this when you're younger than 13. You can actually get like permanently banned. And you also cannot have more than one account. You can't have like two separate ones. If you like get banned on one, you can't make another because that's just another way to get banned. And there is a test oh you have to take. God. I'll go over that oh, here in a minute. Hell no, man. What the fuck, man? It's not too difficult if you know what you're doing. When it comes to making an account, it's pretty easy. First name, last name, email, password, age. Don't lie on this. Put your actual age. So I fall under the 13 to 17 category. Country of residence. Obviously, I live in the United States. So you can definitely tell. And then state. I live in Utah. Uh, it's actually snowing right now, so that's cool. And then we have a password reminder word, which is a secret word that will be used to validate your identity should you need future assistance from the membership department. So basically, if you get like signed out of your account or like you don't know how to sign in, you lose something, you like, can't figure out your password, you'll contact them and then you'll give them the password reminder word. So make this something rememberable. And then we have a region, which um, I fall into the Americas category. And then the uh, a division, so like Central America, Canada, I live in the United States, so I'd go for that as my division. And then they have the code of regulations, code of conduct, and blah blah blah. There's a ton of legal stuff, Don't you don't actually need to read them, just click the check mark and then click register. I already have an account, so I actually can't make another one. So I'll actually sign into mine and I'll show you the next step. Once you make an account, um, you should get a CID, which is just kind of like a number that's attached to your account. It's just like a 10 or so digit number. You're not really going to need to remember this. You can just kind of copy and paste it whenever you need it. Now, there is really one more thing actually preventing you from logging on and getting onto the VATSIM network, and that is the exam. I failed the first time actually. Uh seventy three percent is my first test score. So I just kinda walked around outside. Then I took it again and passed barely. We can I will take actually take a look at the test here. So here's the exam. It's pretty simple, just fifteen questions. All of them are multiple choice. You actually do have to get eighty percent or more to actually pass this test. So if you get less than that on the first try, you're probably going to have to wait like an hour-ish and then the test will unlock again for you to take it. Once you actually do pass this test, you're all good to go and your account is usable. <coughs> now, there are just a couple more things we have to do before we can get connected to the network. Number one is actually the most important thing. This is really a necessity and that is vPilot. So here's the download for vPilot, I'll link that in the description of this video. This is the most important thing because this is what actually creates the link between you and the network. Without this, you cannot use VATSIM. It is free, so you're going to go to this website here, you're going to click download and save and you click run. Just click I agree and you don't need to change any of these settings, just click next and install and you can click finish and it should actually launch vPilot. Now you might get a warning saying um, Windows protected your PC. If it does, just click run anyway. It's not a virus, trust me. And you should see something like this, you just click yes. So this window should open and this will be how you actually set everything up. So vatsimcid, enter that, password, and then full name, and then home airport minus Salt Lake. And then you have notifications, don't really need to change any of these fonts. Again, doesn't really matter. Audio, this is really important. So microphone, you're going to choose your microphone, which mine is that one here. Output, do that as well. 
if you really want to, you can disable the ADC audio. This makes it so it just takes like the raw audio straight from the microphone. It doesn't sound as realistic, and it doesn't really have an effect on like how like easy the ATC is to like comprehend and understand. It doesn't make too much of a difference. It just sounds more realistic. I like to keep that unchecked. And then so the uh the HF background noise I also keep that unchecked. Here is kind of where you test this. So let's click apply these settings and we should see here my mic volume. So you can see it's in the blue when I'm talking normally, so I want to increase that. So as you can see now when I'm talking normally it's in the green area. And then if I increase it a lot, you can see it's in that red. That means it's going to be very, very loud for the people on the, uh, for the air traffic controllers and everyone else. We want to make sure that it's just kind of in the green level right about there. So for my mic, it looks like I need about plus 10, plus 11-ish to actually get it to sound good. And then we have push to talk, which is really important. So this is going to be a button on your keyboard or your joystick or really just anything that you want to have set as your trigger. So on my new yoke that I got, I like to have it at as the button on the left hand side. So I'm going to press that and it will set that there. Click apply. And then we have model matching. You don't really need to change any of the settings here at all. Performance. This is... You shouldn't really have to worry about this if you have like a decent computer. Updates. That's fine. And then you have miscellaneous. Really the only thing you're going to have to worry about is the keep window visible. And then you click apply and that is all the settings you need. So you can click OK. And that is done. And then you actually need a program that will let you view the current air traffic control. Now there is a like website versions like uh, Simoware I believe is one of them that you can use on your web browser to view the air traffic control. I um, preferably like to use VATSPY, which is like directly connected to VATSIM. So we're going to be using that and I'm going to teach you how to install that since that is an actual program. So it's really simple. You can go to the website here. I will also link that in the description. You should want to go down here and find the download link right there. And here, so this is the actual thing that might show up here with vPilot. Just click more info and click run anyway. It's not a virus. Oh no! And then click agree and next and install. And there you go. And now we can actually launch and we can view the current air traffic control status here. So now that you've actually gotten this, you can connect to the network which I will go over in my next video. 9861, runway 22 right, taxi via Alpha and November, cross runway 15 right, hold short of 15 left.